almost all systems have been replaced. And that for us, the most important thing is that the two most important systems for the aircraft have been replaced. In the control system, only domestic drives are now used. All mechanization, stabilizer repositioning mechanisms, as well as controls in the cockpit. This system itself and in ground tests in the process of preparing aircraft for flight and in flight showed that everything is working perfectly. There are no comments from the flight crew. The aircraft fully meets all expectations and is prepared for advanced testing. Our technological system rivals the quality of imported systems crucial to the plane's operation, including the wheel braking mechanism, tires, brakes, and braking control systems. A very important, very responsible system for each aircraft is very complex, and it also showed itself at the height, that is, in the process of inspections on the ground. During test runs and in flight, everything worked normally, everything worked very well, the system completely met expectations. Work just great. This plane of ours one, on which the wing is installed, is completely made of Russian opposition materials. He started flying a long time ago, of course. I made one flight in 21 years. The wing shows itself beautifully. Before that, it passed a full range of tests, both in flight and on stands. Currently, this wing performs flawlessly. A reminder that this model lacks passenger cabin equipment, as it serves only for testing. It's stripped of interior furnishing, but soon we plan to install complete interior panels to optimize its functionality. Put luggage racks, put some chairs. We have already tried it on. We just took it off for an hour, which means the plane will be transformed. It will be very beautiful, very convenient, comfortable. We have repeatedly said that our aircraft is more spacious and comfortable than our closest Western competitors. So we wait until we can carry passengers. I hope they like it. During yesterday's flight of the MC-21-310 aircraft, the P-14 engines worked normally at all thrust modes from low throttle to takeoff mode. Braking is performed using a reversing device. All systems worked normally. The PD-14 engine was certified in 2018. For us, this is already the third MC-21 aircraft, which is equipped with PD-14 engines. Work is currently underway. New Russian aircraft systems with a marching power plant with a PD-14 engine. During ground flight tests of the PD-14 engines, full compliance with the requirements of the technical specifications for weight, size, traction and consumption characteristics of the engine was confirmed. Engine according to D-14. It is thoroughly competitive with foreign counterparts used in both global and Russian airlines. Whenever work approaches its final stage, which in our case is marked by the plane's takeoff, it encapsulates the culmination of efforts. This is just an indicator that all the work carried out on the ground was carried out with a positive result. It was decided that the aircraft can go out for one flight. Accordingly, when we see that the plane has taken off, when we see that it finally rises in the air, it is always exciting, always pleasant, and immediately the thought arises as they are there on board. Will they do everything? And I must say that it is very pleasant when the car returns from the flight and you hear, according to the crew, there are no comments that the task was completed in full on the work of the match. The plane itself is not easy. It came, then the motorcycle got on, started it and went. Weather conditions are analyzed, tasks assigned and pre-flight briefings conducted. Where is the evaluation conducted? Is reported. The condition of the material part is reported, where the weather condition and weather forecast are reported. And so when we decided to go on flights, we came on a plane in general gusts of wind, we knew they were coming and we were waiting for them. And most importantly, we understood that 
these were just impulses. This is not a constant wind, a strong wind. So practically, uh, as you noticed, we waited for the gust to subside. Next, we activated the auxiliary power unit and initiated the engine to begin operations. We checked the control system, two impulses began, so we conscientiously waited for this impulse to subside and already with the wind, which was prescribed to perform a one-stop flight, well, they decided to perform this flight, so then the plane already rolled along the taxiway to the runway. The aircraft that carries passengers and the one that goes on a regular flight is an aircraft that has already passed the test and is already behind the tests related to the expansion of conditions. Weather conditions, yes, where the crosswind is a tailwind. The headwind, these conditions, they are all negotiated. The coefficient of addition of the runway is all assessed by takeoff tests. So there may be corresponding restrictions. There may be a headwind there up to 18 mil per second is allowed somewhere there. A crosswind there up to 12 mil per second is allowed for one flight. Of course, now the restrictions are tougher. Restrictions. They were invented for a reason in general before performing the first test flight of such an experimental aircraft as the MC-21 placed. An industry methodological council was held where restrictions on wind speed and wind strength were determined. So we complied with those restrictions. We took off a reserve, let's say. So we were lucky with the weather about a gust of wind. We just waited during flight tests in general. Way to start working calculations on the stands. Such restrictions are issued, developed, imposed. And then in the process of linen tests, we begin to move first towards these restrictions. And then we already determine the possibility of expanding the operating conditions. Therefore, periodically, for example, we are now talking about the wind with you. Yes, if the wind on the plane is 15 meters per second, then during flight test, you and I can reach. Winds, for example, there are 16, 17, 18 ml per second. The most difficult thing perhaps is to capture these conditions in real, in real conditions so that the plane finds itself in these conditions. And if we are lucky, we correctly calculated these conditions, where they will be, at what moment they arrived there, waited, flew them away. Efforts, the necessary materials processed and made the evidentiary documentation evidentiary. That is, we proved that the plane can fly in these conditions. It is safe and can carry passengers. Then in the future, these restrictions are expanded and imposed on aircraft. Let's say in passenger, this aircraft, MC2013, this machine, which will be entrusted with the lion's share of the work because improvements to the management system were still affected, therefore. A huge amount of work will be related to aerodynamics. These are stability modes, controllability. These are braking characteristics. Next uh, work will be carried out to assess the operation in principle of the control system itself. And we will begin to move further to watch the operation of the power plants. Work auxiliary power plant evaluate work. Each system is practically separate fuel system, hydraulic system, air conditioning system. Automatic pressure regulation system. Well, in general, it's like this, practically like this. So on all systems. Aircraft 13 was originally intended to be the first production aircraft under the MC-21-300 program with imported engines and with imported systems. On this aircraft, an import substituted wing was implemented for the first time, and this was the first machine on which we implemented complete import substitution of composite material, and this machine has already flown on it. We flew several flights that were allowed to them in 22 years. Certify the wing with Russian compositions and materials as part of the aircraft design. Now this machine has come back to the factory and all systems of the Marshall power plants have been completely dismantled. We must pay tribute to our design services of the technological flight station, which when preparing this machine for flight, 
poured in and spent the night here solving specific technical problems. As you know, we have two experimental aircraft on which we carry out a lot of certification work, primarily service flights. This is 12 car and 13. 12, the machine is in a partially import substituted form 13. The machine is already a machine as close as possible to the standard design on which we work out all the Russian systems that we make in the import substitution program, which means in particular, here the drive network is already completely import substituted as the main flight control drives. Thus the wing mechanization movement systems are imported, the stabilizer movement mechanism is imported. The aircraft's wheel braking system signifies that just one flight with this machine paves the way for comprehensive certification testing. Our primary objective remains straightforward, to secure approval for the principal modification that ensures this advancement. Operate a fully import substituted aircraft already in airlines. To do this you need to do a large amount of all sorts of work, but one you need to conduct a large number of bench tests on the bench. Electronic bird on the stand, iron bird on the stands, strength stands, functional ones that our suppliers have, which means that a lot of work needs to be done in terms of flight and ground experiments. It is on machines 12, 13 that we have developed flight test programs that have been approved. Aviation authorities and now we are already flying 12 car flights and in a month about 13. The vehicle will also join the flight test program. In addition to flight tests, ground tests will be carried out on the machine. It is impossible to overestimate the importance of the lift of this machine. The road is now completely open to us. systems were turned on as normal. You could see that before the launch. What we launched from the BC, all the aircraft systems were connected on board during the flight. No reconfiguration took place. That is how. Approximately as a line pilot is prescribed to operate. So we operated this aircraft that is the hydraulic system, the electrical systems, the air conditioning systems. There, the integrated control system did not work in standby mode. It worked in main mode. There were no failures in the operation of the systems during the flight. The landing approach was carried out in the same way using radio equipment was utilized during the flight. Well, the most important thing is that this management system drew attention to because this is the first aircraft on which it is completely domestic, including the controls in the cockpit including the mechanization drive of the controls of the ailerons of the height rudder, the stabilizer rearrangement mechanism. Uh, everything worked automatically. As Andre basically said, that is the plane balanced in all modes. We performed modes in different configurations, that is in the takeoff and the landing. In the flight room. The flight configuration was made by braking accelerations and coordinated sliding of the dacha transfer along the pitch. The flight program was completed completely, that is, uh, all the modes that were prescribed to us and we reached all the altitudes and speeds. Off board, the escort not only filmed us, but also monitored our parameters, therefore. Now we need to sort of prepare this plane for the Zhukovsky leg. To do this, we have to test it in the entire range of altitude speeds, that is, this is the work we have to do now. Next, I think that everything will be fine, as if all the prerequisites for this are there and we should, so to speak, return to the main base, where it will take place. As Andre already said, certification. The aircraft is equipped with a system of onboard measurements, which register a huge number of parameters of operation of all systems. And also the aircraft is equipped with workplaces of onboard operators, where the parameters of operation of the system are displayed. We control it all in flight. We advise the pilots, that is, we consult together, we discuss what further modes we perform, that is, what parameters have been achieved, and thus the crew works together harmoniously. For our part, we want to confirm the words of the pilots that all systems of the aircraft work normally. As we expected, so we confirm it in flight, they were also helped to implement the regime and confirm the operability of the systems as we conducted complex and ground tests. We have already imagined that as expected, all systems are working normally. Uh, what was confirmed today? 
in flight as the air conditioning system, landing gear system, braking system and other systems of the aircraft. Everything worked as expected and we are very happy about it.